Welcome back everyone, time to do another comparison this time around between the newly released iPhone 12 and the kind of older iPhone, the iPhone XS Max. Now both these phones were kind of flagship, yeah, I mean the iPhone XS Max was the flagship flagship of that year. The iPhone 12 has gone up in value making it closer to the flagship price and that's why I'm kind of weirded out with the iPhone 12 this year but I'll save that for a different video. Now the iPhone XS Max obviously isn't a thousand dollar phone anymore, ten ninety nine. It now you can pick these things up for like around five hundred dollars, even less than that on a lot of places. The iPhone 12 brand new costs eight hundred twenty nine dollars, but I'll find the cheapest ones of both these. Link them down in the description below. You can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time. Now side by side, you can definitely see the iPhone XS Max is a far bigger phone than the iPhone 12, and rightfully so. I mean that iPhone XS Max has that six point five inch. AMOLED display. I mean, this thing was a really good phone when it came out and the screen was really, really nice. You have very little bezel around the whole entire display. You have the notch up top and and for the most part, it's a really, really good panel. I mean, anything you're going to do with it, you're not going to feel like the 12 or the 12 Pro, even the 12 Pro Max, from what I've heard, I haven't used a 12 Pro Max, but even with the 12 Pro, all of these panels are pretty much the same. I would not go from a 10S Max to the 12 or 12 Pro, or even maybe even a 12 Pro Max. I don't know that one yet because it hasn't came out, but I'm going to assume. I wouldn't go for those phones just because of the screens, in my opinion. Now, the iPhone 12, on the other hand, does have a 6.1 inch panel, so a little bit smaller, but the phone does feel pretty small in the hand compared to the XS Max because they made the sides completely flat on this phone and honestly that really kind of shrunk down the body bezel of it entirely because of the curved display and the curved body of the iPhone XS Max there's a little bit more of a bezel to it in a way the iPhone 12 the iPhone 12 and the 12 Pro kind of eliminated that which is really cool there's still a little bit of bezel but it's not as bad as something maybe even like a XS Max but even the XS Max is not bad at all so definitely when it comes down to the panels, the iPhone XS Max, I think, looks, you know, just as good as the iPhone 12. But I don't think there's like a huge, you know, reason to go from a XS Max to the 12 or vice versa just because of the panels. But if you like a bigger phone, then the XS Max is probably the one for you. Now, in terms of the thickness, the iPhone XS Max is definitely a thicker phone and you can kind of feel it when you're feeling both in the hand. Now, the one thing about the iPhone 12, though, is that because apparently it's a little bit thinner from the previous model, but it feels a little bit thicker than the previous model because you're always going to be feeling that thicker part. With the XS Max, it is a thicker phone, but you're not necessarily always feeling the thickest part. The thickest part is like over here, but you're kind of just feeling a curve. So you're kind of feeling a thinner. It feels thinner, but it's a little bit harder to explain. Hopefully you guys get it. And on the back, we have dual camera setups on both, as well as glass backs. I do have a skin on my XS Max, but the 12 still feels really good. I mean, the 12 has a really good glass back. The iPhone XS Max has the exact same glass back as far as I know. No frosted backs or anything like that. Now, on the outside of the iPhone 12, you do have that MagSafe capability. Now, it's not on the outside, but it's internally. So you can, you know, connect those MagSafe chargers, which is really cool. You have better IP certification on the iPhone 12 as well, which is really awesome. And so in terms of the outside, that really pretty much covers it up for the most part. Now, hitting on the software lifecycle of both, the iPhone 12 is definitely going to outlast the iPhone XS Max. The XS Max came out in 2018, so it's just a given. It's not going to last as long as something like an iPhone 12. And definitely when it comes down to it, I still think the iPhone XS Max is going to last for a very long time. It's not like tomorrow either one of these devices are going to be outdated. You can pick up the iPhone 12 or you can pick up the iPhone XS Max and still feel like you have a pretty good performing phone in terms of the software. You're getting day one updates the same day the iPhone 12 gets an update. It's probably going to be 99% of the time the same day the XS Max gets an update as well. So that's a pretty big asset for both phones. I don't think one is going to crazily outlast the other one like twice as long, but definitely if you're thinking long term, the iPhone 12 is going to outlast the iPhone. On tennis max when it comes down to software updates now let's go and hit on a little bit of a speed comparison between them the iphone 12 has that apple a14 bionic chip with four gigabytes of ram where the iphone tennis max has that apple a12 bionic chip with four gigabytes of ram as well so let's go and see which one is the faster phone between both of these okay now that we're back let me go and clear all the apps in the background and i thought they were clear on the iphone 12 but i guess not but luckily it's pretty fast to clear these out and I totally screwed that one up. Let's do Safari and let's go and load up some web page. So I'm just going to apple.com 321. And you can see iPhone 12 definitely was faster there. And I just realized this light wasn't on the whole entire time. So hopefully it looks better now. And in my opinion, there really wasn't a crazy big difference between them in terms of loading that web page up. Let's do the app store, 321. And definitely the iPhone 12 was the faster one there too. Scrolling through, you may be able to see they look kind of the same, not a ginormous difference, but definitely when it came down to it, the iPhone 12 was the faster one there. Now I have a bunch of these third-party apps we can get into. Let's do Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1.
And as you can see, the iPhone 12 is noticeably faster than the iPhone XS Max. Not like a crazy big difference, but definitely a noticeable one for sure. The iPhone 12 right there was faster. The iPhone XS Max a little bit behind. Getting into some gameplay, let's see if there's going to be a ginormous difference. And as expected, it's not really looking like the case. Both of them are about the same when it comes down to the speed performance aspect. Let's go and do both. 3, 2, 1. And iPhone 12 Pro, uh, iPhone 12 was faster. iPhone XS Max a little bit behind. So Dropbox, 3, 2, 1. iPhone 12 again is faster. iPhone XS Max a little bit behind. So Quizlet, 3, 2, 1. 12 again is faster, tennis max a little bit behind. Netflix, 3, 2, 1. And the iPhone 12 was slightly faster. The iPhone tennis max was just a little bit behind it, but not a big one. Snake first block, 3, 2, 1. And the iPhone 12 again was the faster one. The iPhone tennis max, as expected, was just a little bit behind it again. And that really pretty much covers that one. Thank you, 3, 2, 1. Again, iPhone 12 is the faster one, and the Tennis Max, who would have guessed it, was a little bit behind. Uh, Gameplay-wise, they look about the same. I don't really think there's a... Uh, actually, when I swiped out of that game, it looked a little bit more stuttier here. Stack, or stack, 3, 2, 1. And the iPhone 12, again, was the faster one. Let's go ahead and get into a little bit of some gameplay. And I think they're going to be roughly about the same. I don't think there's going to be that big of a difference between them, and I already screwed myself up here. Fruit Ninja, 3, 2, 1. And again, the iPhone 12 is the faster one, the Tennis Max. I know you guys already heard it before, but the Tennis Max kind of stuck there for a second. I don't know why it stuck there for so long. And I think gameplay is going to be about the same here too. I I'm definitely seeing some pretty big differences in terms of the app opening speeds. Let's do Instagram, 3, 2, 1. I think I'm already logged in here, so I probably won't even count that one. Paper out 2, 3, 2, 1. Now, I think that's, I'm already kind of saying something, you know, the Tennis Max is slower to open up these apps, and in terms of the gameplay, they're going to be about the same, I think, and that's probably how it honestly sum it up, and RAM management should be theoretically the same too, but I'll test that in a second. Now, the Paper Out 2 on the Tennis Max did stutter up a little bit, so kind of keep that in mind. You're just going to be getting overall better performance, I think, from a 12. Let's go and open up Facebook, 3, 2, 1. 12 is faster. Tennis Max, notice will be behind. Twitter, 3, 2, 1. Again, the 12 is faster. Tennis Max behind it. Let's go and do Snapchat. Or really racing 3, 3, 2, 1. I thought I had Snapchat. I guess I don't have it. And we, I've always been running into these super weird issues on these phones. It's like the app will like load back in and that's so weird. I don't get it. I think the iPhone 12 will probably be faster. And the iPhone 12 is faster. And the iPhone Tennis Max is going to be a little bit behind it. So I think what I've been pretty much seeing consistently is that the iPhone 12 is overall faster than the iPhone XS Max, and I say that confidently. I think there may be a time where the iPhone XS Max may be a little bit faster, and the RAM should theoretically, as I think, is better than the iPhone 12. And I think the RAM is actually better on the iPhone 12 than the iPhone XS Max. And actually, I take that back. Well, we restarted on this one. And I think for sure the speed and performance is going to be better on the iPhone 12, 100% fact. The RAM management is kind of going back and forth between both. But I think to load these apps up and gameplay and everything, I think the gameplay may be somewhat similar. But just the kind of animations and opening apps and all that stuff, I'm seeing kind of a consistent winner on the iPhone 12. So definitely when it comes down to both these in terms of a RAM management standpoint, I feel like it is a lot, I won't say a lot faster, I will say it's noticeably faster than the iPhone XS Max for sure. So if you're getting one because of the performance, you're going to be getting better performance off the iPhone 12 than on the iPhone XS Max in my opinion. So ain't even better RAM management sometimes. So in terms of performance, that pretty much covers it up. Let's go ahead on the cameras. I'd forgotten I already hit on the performance. Dual camera setups on both, 12 megapixel wide, 12 megapixel ultra wide on the iPhone 12. We have a 12 megapixel wide and then a 12 megapixel telephoto lens on the iPhone XS Max. Now looking at the user interfaces on both, I can definitely tell you they are more similar than not. There's like very little differences between these two and I would not necessarily go from one device to the other just because of the way they look. But definitely I think the bigger differences lies in the front cameras. You can do 4K 60 on the front camera of the iPhone 12 where we can only do 1080p on the front camera of the XS Max. It may not be a big deal to you, but you're going to be getting a better front-facing camera from something like an iPhone 12 than on the iPhone XS Max. In terms of the camera module, I've always found 
found that the Tennis Max had a pretty good camera module for the most part. It, it wasn't really, I don't even think it was the best camera of that year, but it was a pretty good camera. And I think anybody, you know, everyone who uses a Tennis Max would probably say the same thing. Now with that telephoto lens, you can zoom in a lot to a photo. You still have portrait mode, 4K at 60, all that crazy stuff, but you don't have an ultra wide sensor. And I would rather have an ultra wide sensor than a telephoto lens to be completely honest. And in this case, this is a perfect example. The Tennis Max is quality, the camera crispness and all that stuff. It's very good on the iPhone Tennis Max, but it falls in two areas, not having an ultra wide sensor, but also not having a really deep, like it has a decent front facing camera, but it's not the best. And I really wish it was a little bit higher resolution on the Tennis Max. On the iPhone 12, it has a really good quality back facing camera. This is horrible lighting in this photo, but I can definitely tell you I've taken photos on this thing. I've taken photos on my 12 Pro now and the front camera, the back camera, it's a very good module for sure. Now the same thing could be said here. You wish it had a telephoto lens or whatever, but I actually do like the ultra wide sensor a little bit more. I like having both to be honest, that's why the 12 Pro or 12 Pro Max is the better way to go. But definitely when it comes down to these cameras, the iPhone 12 is the better camera at the end of the day. And that you're getting a 4K 60 at the front camera as well, which is really nice. The Tennis Max's camera is good enough and I think for a majority of people out there who are shooting videos and making Snapchats and things like that, it's going to be perfectly fine on a phone like a Tennis Max. But if you want it a little bit better of quality and everything, the 12 is probably the better way to go when it comes down to it. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up. Now ending it off with the battery life, I'll actually be doing a battery comparison hopefully tomorrow, but I can give you a kind of an idea. Maybe the iPhone 12 will have pretty much the same battery life as the iPhone XS Max. I don't think one is going to be way better than the other one, but again, if I had to assume maybe the iPhone XS Max may not be as good as the 12, but again, I'll, I'll tell, let you guys know whenever I do that battery comparison, which should be sooner than later. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers up everything. And to kind of, you know, sum up the whole entire video and to answer the question, should you get the XS Max? Should you get the iPhone 12? Should you keep your iPhone XS Max or your 12? What I can tell you is, is that if you have an iPhone XS Max, you really don't need to go to an iPhone 12 or any version of the iPhone 12, including the 12 Pro or 12 Pro Max. I think the iPhone XS Max is still a really, really good device. And I'll be completely honest. I think if you're going to go from one phone to the other, I would recommend going from a XS Max to an iPhone 11 Pro Max, not even the brand new 12 Pro Max, because the 11 Pro Max is a very good phone, has bigger batteries than any of the iPhone 12 series, and it's a very good performing phone, still great cameras and everything like that. And it's cheaper than what a 12 Pro Max is. So I would 100% recommend going for an iPhone 11 Pro Max. But if you don't want to, if it's between these two, I guess the iPhone 12 is the better phone. It's better in almost every single category besides like the size. If you want a bigger phone, then go for the XS Max. But I think the iPhone 12 still has a lot going for it too. You have a really good display, you have really good cameras, you have pretty decent battery life, pretty similar on both. You have really good IP certification, great performance, and again, it's a very safe phone. There's just not a lot of hate on it. It's a $829 phone, so it shouldn't be a bad phone at all. And I think for a majority of people out there, it's good enough for a lot of things you're going to do. I would probably still recommend going to the 12 Pro Max or 12 Pro because of the price difference, but I think if you have a XS Max, I would recommend keeping it. There's still a lot of pros for this thing. Great display for the most part, a big phone too if you like that. And it's still pretty good in performance. Like it was just a little bit behind the 12. And I think this phone still has a lot going for it. The cameras are pretty good. Battery life, I think it would be similar. Maybe the 12 is a little bit better. And again, it's still supported for many, many more years. It's not like you're gonna be outdated tomorrow. And these things are much cheaper than a brand new iPhone 12. So I would definitely tell you if it's between these two, the Tennis Max is a better deal in my opinion, and for anyone who has a Tennis Max, I would recommend keeping it or going to an 11 Pro Max, or just waiting until the iPhone 13s come out because those are apparently going to be like a pretty big upgrade. But if you have an iPhone 12, I would 100% recommend keeping it too. I mean, I wouldn't go backwards like that, but I think the choice is clear. And if you have all the money, go for the iPhone 12. But if you don't, if you wanna save some money, the Tennis Max is a very, very good phone too. And I would still probably be recommending things and I'd probably even be recommending this even like a year or two later from now. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.